we now discuss the solution of the problem from the section analysis and the problem is on the convergence of the given two series. This question has appeared in CSIR National Eligibility Test held on 16th February 2022 and this question is from the section B. The problem is let S1 is equal to 1 by 3 minus 1 by 2 into 1 by 3 square plus 1 by 3 into 1 by 3 cube minus 1 by 4 into 1 by 3 to the power of 4 plus so on so forth and S2 is equal to 1 by 4 plus 1 by 2 into 1 by 4 square plus 1 by 3 into 1 by 4 cube plus 1 by 4 into 1 by 4 to the power of 4 plus so on so forth. Which of the fall, which of the identities is true? We are given four identities in four options. Option 1. 3s1 is equal to 4s2. Option 2, 4s1 is equal to 3s2. Option 3, s1 plus s2 is equal to 0. Option 4, s1 is equal to s2. We are given two series. s1 is the first series and s2 is the second series and we have to get the con convergence of s1 and s2 and see which one of the following is true. We discuss the solution of this problem in detail. We are given S1, the first series, and S2, the second series. The first series S1 is 1 by 3 minus 1 by 2 into 1 by 3 square plus 1 by 3 into 1 by 3 cube minus 1 by 4 into 1 by 3 power 4 plus so on so forth. And S2 is 1 by 4 plus 1 by 2 into 1 by 4 square plus 1 by 3 into 1 by 4 cube plus 1 by 4 into 1 by 4 to the power of 4 plus so on so forth. We now recall ln of 1 plus s, 1 plus x, log x to the base e of 1 plus x, the standard identity we have that is equal to x minus x square by 2 plus x cube by 3 minus x to the power of 4 by 4 plus so on so forth valid in minus 1 less than x less than or equal to 1. Call this as the equation 1. Put x is equal to 1 by 3 in 1. So, you will get ln of 1 plus 1 by 3 is equal to wherever there is x you write 1 by 3 1 by 3 minus 1 by 2 into x square 1 by 3 square plus 1 by 3 into x cube that is 1 by 3 whole cube minus 1 by 4 into x to the power of 4 that is 1 by 3 to the power of 4 plus so on so forth and uh, the left hand side is uh, 1 plus 1 by 3 is uh, 4 by 3 ln of 4 by 3 is equal to the right hand side is precisely the given series that is S1. That is the series S1 converges to ln of 4 by 3. It converges means its sum is ln of 4 by 3. We continue in the next slide. We have seen ln of 4 by 3 is equal to S1. We recall ln of 1 minus x is equal to minus x minus x square by 2 minus x cube by 3 minus x to the power of 4 by 4 minus so on so forth valid in minus 1 less than or equal to x less than 1. Call the equation 1, equation 2. So put x is equal to 1 by 4 in this. So we are seeing 1 by 4 here. So it gives a clue 1 by 4. Then you will get ln of 1 minus 1 by 4 is equal to minus x minus 1 by 4 minus 1 by 2 into x square 1 by 4 square 
minus 1 by 3 into x cube that is 1 by 4 whole cube minus 1 by 4 into x to the power of 4 that is 1 by 4 whole to the power of 4 minus so on so forth. Now on the left hand side 1 minus 1 by 4 is 3 by 4 ln of 3 by 4 is equal to on the right hand side the minus is common because minus is present in every term therefore take out a minus then it will be 1 by 4 plus 1 by 2 into 1 by 4 square plus 1 by 3 into 1 by 4 whole cube plus 1 by 4 into 1 by 4 to the power of 4 plus so on so forth and that is minus in brackets that is precisely S2. So minus S2 is ln of 3 by 4 therefore S2 is equal to minus ln of 3 by 4. Uh, that is equal to ln of 4 by 3, yes, minus ln of 3 by 4 is equal to ln of 3 by 4 to the power of minus 1, that is the inverse of 3 by 4 is 4 by 3, that is ln of 4 by 3, and ln of 4 by 3 is precisely S1, therefore S1 is equal to S2. So, let us look at our options, our answer, S1 is equal to S2 appears, Against option 4, therefore our answer is option 4. And uh, this is a very simple, straightforward question. And uh, it is also very easy. I hope that you have understood the solution of this problem. And uh, go on working out some more problems on the convergence of series. I wish you all the best. Thank you.